hate their water signs. So we are going to go ahead and. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do water signs. Um, so let's see what this autumn season is giving for you, my lovely Chloe. The water signs. Messages. Where are you? <laughs> Great spirit. Ancestors. Would you like the water signs to know what advice or insight guidance you have for them with the sun? Or autumn season. What do they need to be aware of at this time for the water sign? Okay. All right. So water signs, you and your air element for this autumn season. So you are seeing things very clearly. Your clarity is coming forward for you. You're very sure of what it is that you're doing, how you want to go about it. You know that you got this. Um, you know that you have everything it is that you need to make it happen. You may be getting rid of people around you who are just kind of in the way, who are distractions. So it's like, all right, yeah, I get on my nerves. <laughs> it's time for you to go, kind of thing. <clears throat> you know, I'm feeling very astute, very dapper. Beauty may be very important to you at the time, but like in a very precise, pristine type of way, like making sure nothing is out of order, okay? That everything is done. No thing, I'm hearing no man left behind, but I think um, no thing left behind. So maybe you also are in your humanitarian efforts at this time, like the very philanthropist, that's a word, notification. Oh, wow. Okay. So you have um, the King of Swords on the bottom. You may feel very much like you are having to defend yourself, your right to be, your right to speak, um, your right to live in some sense. Um, there may be some legal matters be taking place here because you got a double King of Air energy. Okay, Father of Nines here, King of Swords here. All right, vision, the vision of God face to face. And so you are attaining whatever it is that you have on your mind is taking place. Like you're overleaping the obstacles, getting things out of the way, following your heart as well. Okay, and um, it's like you're on the path to God, seeing God. All right, and um, you may really be using your intelligence to make these things happen. But there may be some court situation that you're having to defend yourself in. Um, I think that's so interesting because that I'm doing water signs. And initially, I was like, I'm going to do air signs and I'm going to do water baths. And I decided to just go ahead and do. And maybe that came from. Um, me feeling like y'all being in this very strong air energy, like it's a lot of defense going on here, a lot of communication, a lot of connection. Maybe feeling like you need to defend your stance, but at the same time, it's like I'm not dealing with you. I ain't feeling my, I ain't defending shit outside of my life, my home, right? I'm not, I'm not worried about the rest of these things, okay? Um, right? It's almost like I'm hearing your life, my. Your life is on the line. Maybe this has something to do with your children. <clears throat> okay. Something about your freedom, someone's freedom. All right, maybe that's a focus for you during this season. Someone may be. Someone you know may be dealing with the judicial system, right? Um, something about keeping what's yours, holding what's yours. It's like you're on top of things um, because you can see 
things for what they are, having a sense of understanding. There's a lot of mental energy here, water, water signs, make friends with the cheerful and optimistic, right? So it's like you're getting away from people who like see things through like drudgery, through drudgery spies. Maybe there's someone around you who make you feel like everything that you do is wrong, okay? But this says the sperm world predicts that you will experience a profound change like the legendary prophet Jonah, swallowed up by his unconscious before being emitted from the world's throat into new enlightenment. Being the largest living predator with the largest brain in the animal kingdom intimates that you will achieve what you put your mind to and will prosper for many years. The sperm whale can stay underwater for long periods and dive very deeply, implying that you will get to the foundations of a matter and persevere. While forming several new lasting friendships, your romantic interests may grow rapidly, especially during the winter. So <clears throat> whatever it is that you are I don't know. So it's like you may be letting people go right now for new to come in and they may not venture in until the next season arrives. OK. Um, but there's some old there's some door that's being closed. Right. In order for you to feel the connection it is that you want within the people around you. Right. You want to have people around you desiring to have people around you that feel like family, that feel like you can trust them, that feel like there's truth involved there, that feel like you don't always have to defend yourself from who it is that you are, especially when it comes to you being within your uniqueness, okay? And being very true to who you are, like, um, it's a very, very strong Libra and Sagittarius energy here, right? So <laughs> I know, like, Libras really be Sagittarius, right? That's how they be acting. All right, very free spirited, very from here to there kind of thing, like doing what I want. I know this, you can't tell me kind of thing and utilizing that. Okay, so maybe there is um, some air sign people, some Sagittarius people who are coming out into your life, or maybe these are the people who you're cutting out your life. I don't know. Um, whichever way it goes, uh, you are in the space of building your confidence this, this season, right? And as you do this, you're continuing to grow. This is helping you uh, attain the success of what you want, but you first have to kind of get out of this defensive space that you seem to always be in or that you may just predominantly be in right now, okay? but you're in this defensive space because there's something that you need to let go of, something that you need to cut out that you may still be holding on to, but that's ending. And whether you're choosing to do this or not, the spirit, the universe, God, however you see it, is making this happen, they're forcing this to happen. Because yeah, it's time to level up. I think we got that card for the main, for the general, for the collective read. You know, it's time to, um, you got shame at the bottom. The shame is probably, maybe you want to watch uh, the Taurus reading. The Taurus reading. Because they got shame in their goddess comments, okay? So I'm going to cut this light up. It's, it's dark in here. So, Queen Ya Asintiwa. She says divine timing is on your side. Yeah, this has a lot to do with timing. Um, so there's something that you have been waiting to happen. It's like, it's interesting. Divine timing is always waiting for you to align, right? It's always waiting. It's you, it's for you to get in order, to be in alignment with what it is that you're trying to manifest. It's not necessarily about a literal timing thing. At least that's how I see it. Right, and sometimes it just takes longer. Okay, that's better. Um, 
it, it's going to take as long as it takes you to align with what it is that you need to do, how it is that you need to show up, what you need to do for yourself. Okay, but this is a quantum leap. You've already been taking steps towards this and it's about to manifest for you in whichever way this is about to happen. To place. Aries, what messages do we have for these water signs? You're about to see through some, there's some illusion. Perhaps it hasn't been just within the self, but um, it may have also been within your relationships. And you are, and this can be a way that you may have been communicating that may not have been working necessarily. Maybe you've been feeling like you can leave things out <laughs> and things still go that way, but it's like needing to be very upfront. All right. So we have the blue fairy here. She is saying number 22. So you building something, too many dragons. It's a lot of opinions uh, for you in the way in which it is that you choose to live your life. That's why you feel like you got to defend yourself. Who, who are these people? I don't know, but they need some faith. All right. The Blue Fairy speaks about love. It says, here is the Blue Fairy who offers up messages of love and peace. She demonstrates the need for quiet within our daily lives. She shows us that through calmness, we realize our connection to spirit. The connection is always with us. Concentrate on this cobalt blue and feel what it does to your inner body. Imagine a blue crystal deep within your heart that resonates to all that is through the vibration of love. You're connected to all creation and to the hearts of all beings through a beautiful crystal blue grid work of light. Feel the oneness of all that is. Sense the infinite being of your soul. Can you feel your problems shrieking in size? Feel your own divinity. Allow your creativity to flow. With the oneness comes true understanding of the great mysteries of life. They all come down to one thing, infinite love. Esoteric knowledge is true love. <laughs> That's funny. That's very interesting. Um, because I'm telling y'all a story. So I've been going through some changes when it comes to Liz's charm. And Liz's charm is very my North Node and Pisces energy, right? So I had it in one form, but I'm changing how it is that I'm going about uh, my image of the business, right? So I'm changing it to an esoteric house. And in that, um, like our mission statement in a sense is uh, esoteric knowledge is true love okay so with this maybe there's something that's hidden right like I said like there's something that um, hasn't been able to be seen that is being seen there's this understanding happening here this connection this oneness with God right you were saying you're face to face with God. You see the truth of the matter. You get it. You are understanding it. You are seeing beneath the surface, okay? You feel it in you. You're walking with it. And through this, you are leveling up, okay? Quantum leaps are happening here. Quantum leap. Wow. Water signs. This is exciting, okay? But Okay, New Moon and Gemini, commitment is key. Communication is key. All right, so like I was saying, you be feeling like that there's some, there are things that you can leave out, right? Like, oh, I ain't got to say all that right now. No, you need to say all of that right now. You have to fully express yourself. You have to fully communicate. You have to speak. All right, you got to know that you're good enough to be heard, that you're good enough to do what you need to do. All these other people who have whatever ideas that they have about what it is that you're choosing to do, how you're choosing to do it. Um, um, yeah, it's not that good. It's safe. I mean, take what, what works, right? But everything else, right? Don't project your life onto me. <laughs> What else is I'm a problem solver. Okay, so you have the ability to get up out of anything. 
And then at the bottom you have I am wild and free. So maybe somebody feeling um feeling some kind of way about the way how you operate in your life. Like okay, so with that, I want to say don't get too caught up in like what you have. Maybe that may be a real issue for you. And people outside of you are noticing this. Okay. And it's almost as if like you feel like you got it together so you you don't have to either do as much or whatever. And somebody may have something to say with this. Because granted, you are at a good space with where you are, right? You are attaining success. Um, but it's important that you are not, yeah, letting yourself uh, get too caught up. Don't get too comfortable. So care for the water signs. I mean, some grounding happening here. Okay, take time out to breathe or drink you some tea. Go out and meet a friend at the coffee shop. Okay, go to the coffee shop by yourself. Maybe learn how to make you a cute little coffee, all right, or a, a nice little matcha, okay, or maybe get you some tea, a tea blend, okay, or maybe um, you want to ask some your nearest herbalist to put you together a tea blend to help support you in maybe getting grounded in some clear um to help you move forward right maybe you want a dream tea that seems like something at the bottom we have candles okay so maybe you want to do some candle work or maybe you want to uh do some candle visualization staring into a flame kind of thing going on that may serve you seeing what you perceive while you're doing this okay so let's get into so, so yes, those are your messages, water signs. We're going to get into your individual signs now. Okay. Cancer. What messages do you have to cancel for the autumn season for cancer? You want to send me cards for the Cancer, what messages do you have for cancer school? Ancestors, what would you like? Cancer school, what is this auto energy? Cancer. <laughs> you think y'all, cancer, are you the one who um trapped in your luxuries? All right. You're really just enjoying all of the havings that you have. I don't know. Either way, you're in a good space. You know, you have everything you need. All your needs are met. You got, you got the money. You got the finances. Okay. But people may be evil eyeing you. Take your neck. I got some hidden enemies. Okay. Clarify there's not a point in school. That's too many cards. Too many cards. Cancer. Clarify there's not a point. This one has fell out and it's still in So I was clarifying this is the ace of points. So you're coming into this ten of points fully. With this, you're closing out old cycles when it comes to like your finances, to your home life, your stability, your foundation. Um, and you even got 10 of coins at the bottom. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Cancer. I feel like I don't have anything else to say about that. Hmm. Well. With that, we're gonna pull the goddess card, but you know, you come with some new opportunities. Um, it's possibly like your ability to see your worth and know your value and know that you got what you need, you got it going on. It's really allowing you to be able to um, bring in these new opportunities. Like, 
God's got his finger on you. Moving into this very beautiful place within your life, this single. Don't get too comfortable. But you're putting in the work. You're going to. And you're seeing things for what they are, right? You're recognizing you are recognizing that it's okay to put yourself first. All right, we have awakening, yamaya, and segment. All right, so you are protected, you are comforted, you are nurtured, you are loved, okay? You were taken care of by the spirit, by the universe, alchemy. Okay, and at the beginning of, um, at the beginning, if you haven't watched the, what is it? The collective message, I saw Spill spoke about how Autumn felt out very alchemizing. Okay. Yeah, I'm receiving and radiating love. So there is a lot of love energy. It's a lot of familial energy as well. Like, um, you know, you just really feeling it, but in a good way, feeling very safe to be open, safe to be vulnerable, you know, and just making things happen for real by way of your own personal healing, your own personal choosing to put yourself first, right? Um, it's like you're almost attracting this. You're loving yourself. You're loving the people around you. Like you're feeling at home, at the room. You're feeling like you. Mm. So in your love card, you have I'm scared. So maybe you're feeling hesitant or maybe the person who you are dealing with has is not necessarily ready for a relationship or not sure. You have I adore you at the bottom. Um, let me see what's the situation. I'm scared. I can't trust you. Um, okay. So... I'm scarred, is what they say. Uh, I think that does say I'm scared. I'm looking this up real quick. Okay, yeah, this does. Yeah, this is, I'm scared. So, um, and it could be from these wounds, but it seems like this is healing. Or you, you may just be taking a lot of time to yourself um, so that this healing can take place when it comes to the scared energy. Um, you know, perhaps the person you are with may be scared. This I can't trust you card came out of there. So there may be someone you can't trust or someone who feels like that they can't trust you. And either way, it's wounding. This has to do with wounding because the cards at the bottom are not aligning with this you know it's like i i want to be with you you make me feel so good but i'm scared i can't trust you and it's just like well oh, what's going on but this is you're being awakened to what is really happening here um and if you've been questioning like why things have been going with a certain someone it's because of that i'm scared i can't trust you and they can't trust you because they are scared Right. And if you can't trust the ones because you're scared. OK, so there's some healing that needs to take place when it comes to the love department. All right. And if there are any type of like addictions going on here, um, it's important to uh, face those, see what that's about for you.
right? Well, why can't you let that go? So those are your messages, Cancer. Okay, I hope that they served you. Let's get into Scorpio. Scorpio, what messages do you have for Scorpio for this fall? Energy, Scorpio. Scorpio. A lot of celebration for you, Scorpio. All right, we got ten of baskets. This is emotional fulfillment, feeling really good. A lot of beauty, a lot of glamour. Okay, and we have the daughter of baskets at the bottom. So there may be some love, some new love coming in. Um, or like you're, if you're already in a relationship, it may already, it may be renewing into something new, um, some offering of love. This can be just from a friendship or a family member, uh, but you may be gathering with family. Family may be really important for you at this time. As well, I do want to say, take care when it comes to the indulgences. Don't overdo it. Like don't be in a space of escaping everything. Have fun and enjoy life. Clarify this ten of baskets for Scorpio. There you go. You have a good time this uh, season, um, Scorpio. Ten of baskets, three of cups. All right. Something, something is changing. Something is transforming. It's you, perhaps, right? And it's you know. You're having a really, really good time. There may be something. And there's somebody coming in around you who, like, people may be coming to you out of, I don't know, your confidence of self, your, um, your beauty. <clears throat> be discerning with that. Be very discerning with that. Not a lot. Oh, yes, I <laughs> what else is here for? Like, it's a lot of darkness that has been healed, a lot of cleansing taking place as well, a lot of rebirth. Things are dying so that you can be reborn. And so life can be lighter, so it can be more pleasurable. Okay. Drink a lot of water. Hydrate yourself. Don't get too drunk <laughs> this season. Grief. Yeah, drowning in your sorrows. That's interesting. So we have grief here. So there may be an ending of some relationship taking place here. This may be like a long-standing relationship that's taking place. This can be like friendship, um, connections. This can be like people that you've worked with. All right, this may be a familiar relationship, or this could even be you mourning a loved one that has passed um, as well. I'm seeing that you need to celebrate them. Okay. What is this? Um, yeah, I, I forgive my forgive and free myself. I forgive and free others. Who do you need to forgive? Let it go and reclaim yourself. Forgiveness is a gift of freedom for you. You can't rush forgiveness. You have to feel it to heal it. Feel the pain, hurt, grief, rage, and despair. Take time with your heart. Forgiveness is a higher vibration frequency than the pain you must allow yourself to feel. Unforgiveness, unforgiveness covering colors your world with black mistrust and resentment. You start to see everything through victim colored glasses. But forgiveness does not have to include reconciliation. Start with self forgiveness. Say it out loud. I forgive myself with love. Yeah, so there is some like long standing relationship. Um, like if you're a woman, this can be people that you connect with, uh, friendships. Um, maybe you're feeling some grief in the changes that's taking place within the relationship. Um, maybe um, 
it's just time for some forgiveness. Maybe that grief is standing in the way of your happiness, right? So if you are on the side of like the escapism, like caught up in the inebriation of things, trying to drown out your sorrows, okay? Um, it's a time to forgive whatever it is that's needed to be forgiven. It's something that's trying to be released here, but it seems that you keep holding on to it in your heart. Yeah, and with love, it says, I come alive with you. So this was someone that made you feel, or some uh, people that made you feel really great. Okay, maybe these people or this person feel, feels good with you. Um, perhaps you have someone coming in with that at the bottom you have a trail, which is interesting uh, because it seems like that is affecting your self-worth. Either you betrayed yourself or someone betrayed you and it's, it is like creating this block between love coming in and your personal joy. So there's something, this emotional fulfillment it is that you're trying to achieve, this happiness that you want. Um, you're going to have to process the grief. <clears throat> and you're going to have to allow others to support you in processing this grief. You can no longer hide behind your pain. You can no longer drown out your pain. You have to face it. People who make you feel alive. All right. So that this energy of coming alive with someone can come through, you need to face this, okay? It's worth it. So that's all your messages. I hope that's helpful. All right, Pisces, let's get into it. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you for this fall energy. Pisces, 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 what does the fall have in store for you, Pisces? You may be working in tandem. Mm -hmm. Pisces. Yeah, you're, it's like you're establishing new ways to do things. You might be feeling very in your hermit energy. We have the six of knives, right? So you're changing direction. You are letting go something old behind, some old way of thought, some old way of movement. Maybe you're literally moving. Um, so you're keeping to yourself right now. You're not really putting yourself out there in a sense. Um, you're you uh, maybe, you know, communicating with your close ones, your loved ones, but um, they're really focused on overcoming something. There's some healing taking place or you could be focused on many options of things and see which direction it is that you're wanting to go with that. All right, but you're leaving something behind, some old doors closing, some old way of being literally like on a physical level is changing. Okay, Pisces, Pisces, clarify the six of nine for us, please. Yeah, I mean, okay, so we have five of wands here. So it's like a, a change, a change in work, right? A shift. This is actually a successful energy. You're moving into your personal power. And that's what I was thinking when that six of nines came out, like, oh, Pisces in a power, right? But it's a very, it's hidden. It's a secret kind of power. It's just like, yeah. Um, protecting yourself who i had said protect your neck to i think that was uh cancer okay but um you really in this space of uh, moving forward from your heart so it's very passionate very sensual very sultry kind of energy and it's happening quickly okay very quickly what's this here what i say Sacred lust, okay. This is Katesh 
and her two lovers. <laughs> okay, so she's about feeling good to feel good. It's like being very erotic, very sensual, very sexual, but also even just in the pleasures of life, of all your senses, okay? Whether that is uh, learning, reading, like even the basic things, but also those really exciting um, aspects of life, okay? Feeling carried, feeling loved, feeling, you know, in your personal power and, you know, knowing that you matter, just being very, in your, it's like a quiet kind of power. But who around you, the people who around you, they hear you, they see you, they see you. Uh, um, okay, Pisces. <laughs> I cannot commit to you, which is interesting with that coming out with this sacred lust. Um, and Katesh being here with her two lovers. Okay, so um, maybe you have a lot of suitors, and or maybe there's someone who wants to commit to you, and you can't, or maybe there's someone that you want to commit to, and they won't, okay? And it's because there's somebody who's lost in this situation, whether it's you or them, okay? Um, and that may be what you're moving on from with the conflict, especially when it comes to love, like moving on, being in your power and knowing that um, you got options kind of things, like we don't fit together. <laughs> Maybe they don't believe that you, your goodness is as real, you know, maybe sometimes, you know, sometimes a person's presence can be uh, too jarring for people and they'd be like, uh, I'm real. This is really me. I really do this. All right. What you see, this is who I am. This is not no trickery. All right. Yes, I am the magician. <laughs> Let's clear it. I'm going to pull them apart to this. I can't come to you. What is this? I can't come to you. I am so happy that I found you. All right, which one is it? So maybe um, some of y'all are dealing with someone who can't commit or that you can't commit to. And then maybe there's another person that you're so happy that you found. Maybe you're figuring out who you want to commit to. I don't know. Or maybe you're just really all over the place, honestly. All right. And trying to figure it out. Either way, know that you will. You will have success in what it is that you're working for. It just might get a little chaotic and you have to accept that for what that is and take that for what that, whatever that means for you in terms of the reflections, all right, mirrors. Okay, so yes, Pisces, those are your messages. I hope that's helpful. Let me know.